Hi everyone, hope you're all okay. Um, right, I'm hoping you're gonna love the technique I'm going to show you today. Um, I ordered some isopropyl um, alcohol, IPA, which arrived in the post yesterday. So I've been playing around again with my alcohol techniques, but the funny thing is I'm not gonna use the um, alcohol today, just um, the alcohol inks. Um, I went out yesterday afternoon as well and purchased a few more colors. Um, but oh, I'm so excited because this just looks really, really cool. It was um, a video that I found from a lady called Sarah Sandberg, um, but it just looks as if her YouTube channel is no longer active um, because the last video she posted was um, over two years ago. But anyway, I can't take the credit for it because it was a technique that she showed. But um, but here goes. What you'll need is various colours of alcohol inks. Um, I'm using the Adirondack and you'll also need a transparency sheet, an acetate sheet, which I've got here. Um, you'll also need um, a piece of white paper or cardstock larger than your acetate, just so that you can see what it is you're actually achieving. And then a straw, just a, a drinking straw. Mine's one of the fat ones, but the thin ones, anything will do fine. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my straw in one hand and I apologise now because my head is probably going to be in the way for some of this because I'm going to blow. Um, anyway, I'm going to start off over the far side, drop some ink and blow. And how cool is that? Keep going up to the edges. A bit more over here. Sorry, I've got my straw in my mouth then. This is just so cool, I love it. You might go a bit dizzy whilst you're doing this. Keep going with your one main colour that you're using first. And I'm taking mine right to the edges because I want to cut this up into smaller pieces so I don't want waste around the edges. Right, and then I'm going to swap colour. Um, I've got a leaky um, tube here which I'm going to have to try and sort out. Maybe the thing isn't down properly but um, it's leaking, leaking like mad and the nozzle's a bit wonky as well but, um, but there we go. Look at the state of my fingers. You could wear um, your rubber gloves for this if you wanted to. Then I'm going to go back in with Wild Plum and do exactly the same thing. And just look at that, how cool is that? Be careful with this because um, it does make you go a bit dizzy, I warn you now. I just love this, it's just gorgeous.
and then you can just drop a little bit just and let it spread so without blowing through the through the straw just going to do that in a couple of um, random places in fact I'll leave that then and then I'm going to go back in with one of my new colours which is lettuce in fact no I'm not I'm going to go in with yellow change my mind um, so what have I got here I've got sunshine yellow so I've used um, sea boat blue then I used the wild plum and now I'm using sunshine yellow and again I'm just going to drop in again and blow but just look at that I've decided to blow on the bits that I've dropped on Blow this one sideways. But I just love how the colours mingle, it just looks amazing. And then I'm going to go in then with a bit of green. I'm going to use the lettuce. And I think I'm going to leave it at, at that. And I shall put this down to one side just to dry. It doesn't take long to dry, but just look at that. That just looks absolutely amazing. I love it. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it round and go in over here with a bit of the green. Change my mind as usual. Just put a drop there. Yeah, that's brilliant. And you can just keep turning um, your paper round sort of and, and carrying on as you like. So let me show you one that I've cut up and that I did earlier. Right. And here's one that I did exactly the same technique to. But what I did, um, I chopped it with my rotary cutter. Um, I used the rotary cutter for cutting acetate. The guillotine didn't seem to work as well. It was um, chewing up some of the edges. And all I've done here, mine weren't even, I was just practicing. In fact, it went all skew because I tried the guillotine first and, um, and that wasn't successful. Um, but um, And then what you want to do is turn it over. So that's the side that I put the ink on. So I've got mine shiny side up. Um, and then you can just mount those on a piece of with plain paper underneath and mount it, you know, with a piece of black cardstock. I shall have a play around later um, and come back and show you um, what I've done. But I am just absolutely loving that. So hope you like it too. Don't forget, please subscribe to my channel and press the like button if you enjoyed the video today. Take care. See you all soon. <coughs> Right, the ones I made with you earlier have all dried now and I've just cut them up into four equal size pieces 
and voila there they are i just think they look absolutely beautiful i really do um now the sarah sandberg video that i watched she had used a crocodile and she'd attached her acetate to the paper using um the little i've forgotten what they're called now the little rivet um things and that looked really good so i'm gonna have to dig out my crocodile it's um it's hiding somewhere in the depths of my cupboard um, but I just think those are absolutely beautiful. So there you go. Try it and see how you get on. Don't forget thumbs up and um, subscribe if you like it. See you all again soon. Bye for now.